beep beep. Uh, hello guys. Here is uh, the first vid <coughs> of a, a couple builds uh, that I will do with uh, Nige. Uh, I will put uh, uh, the link uh, of his YouTube channel downstairs. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, we were agree to building uh, a World War One tank together. So now I will do uh, a quick unboxing. Nige did already one. Uh, I didn't bought it at my local hobby shop because they didn't have it at that moment. So I searched a bit around uh, eBay and uh, I found somebody in Italy selling it. Uh, the price was very good. Only the shipment was 20 euros. But I had the kits. I had something else with it that I will show. Uh, and the shipment costs and it still I still saved around if I'm not mistaken 25 euros on the total packet if I should buy that packet at my local hobby shop and let send it to me <coughs> so what kit is it it's a big one so it's a World War One tank, the A7V tank, the group. Uh, it's, if I'm not mistaken, the first German tank, and uh, from World World War One. So, like you can see, it's Minket, and it's on the Tiny War. Tyrannosaurus series. So the exterior of the first German tank are precisely, precisely reproduced. Realistic interiors of fighting compartment and driver's compartment are included. Workable track links are provided. Hatches and viewing ports can be built open or closed and precision PE parts are included. So, and here we have the color scheme. So, what's all in it? So, yeah, like you can see. There was also the barrels for the German A7 V tank, the group. Professional update and upgrade set for scale plastic models from Aber. So that we will see later. That I wanted, but I didn't open it. So. First, we will first have a quick peek in manual. We also have decal sheet, but we'll see. So, first, uh, some information about uh, the tank. Uh, it was a very big tank. There were, it's a crew from 18 persons. Uh, yeah, 18 persons. Uh, it has length of 8 meters wide, about a good 3 meters, 
and the height also almost three and a half meters. Uh, it had has a cannon and the front uh, 57 millimeter cannon and six yes six machine guns uh, 7.9 millimeters uh, it's uh, drive that almost 13 kilometers an hour and could drive for 40 kilometers so not very far but at that time um, there were, if I'm not mistaken there were 20 tanks built I ordered 100 only 20 built and 14 went to battle uh, if I'm not mistaken one survived that in, a, in a Australia whoa shipment costs Whew. and there is a gun turret uh, at the war museum in Manchester so if you want go look for me it's a bit too far so instructions uh, first part is wheel wheel assembly um, suspension assembly uh, transmission putting glow hole together return rollers Uh, attaching some wheels together so the first one two okay, three four five five are all wheels uh, suspension system and then the last part is uh, the tracks so each track uh, it's a two port like you see here and are clickable so we will see also nice two colors but yeah that we will see how far we go and we have to make 98 links so that's 192 parts to cut and to clean Woo. so we have the floor uh, so like you can see a little nice driver's compartment assembly here attaching drivers compartments uh, <coughs> we have a front radiator back radiator putting them together there are no uh, engines with it so yeah that we you can always look if you can find some engine somewhere but yeah that's it's your own choice then the gun assembly look like very nice little parts Mm. assembly of the fight man, fighting compartment accessories gunner sets and then attaching the parts together we have like you see here some rifles we can put in gunner seats 
machine gun assembly then putting the machine guns in then placing uh, the whole armor around it so underneath some whole armor also and here you so you have some caps from You have two hooks and you have the option or the open or you can close them. And then door assemblies, putting doors and viewing ports together, uh, all around some uh, P pieces also. Uh, putting exhaust pipes here you see open up close you can choose uh, <coughs> that is the part of uh, drivers compartment armor putting together the top hole armor and then attaching the hole uh, uh, towing cables and then you have that was it so now spool call out <coughs> decal P parts uh, polycaps too and a piece of string and here you have how it was painted and here to place decals and call call outs so yeah nice instructions hope to be clear enough that we will see when we build it so we will look uh, so to see uh, where I bought it from they didn't open the package that's also nice so decals they are very nice printed by cartograph so if you no cartograph you know they will be nice no carrier film just a bit on the name and the number but on the rest nothing so that's a very nice I will put that immediately back Okay, so immediately takes a bit longer. So that's part one. A little piece of photo edge.
or not ticked out fully but it's rather fine so the grills uh, gun turrets and then some brackets and so on uh, the rope hmm I think in that scale it's a bit too thick uh, I think that Nige also mentioned it in his unboxing and we can look if we can find something else that we can make as a rope that look more in scale. Uh, yeah, then the screws, there's a lot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, 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 twelve. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 17, 20, 21. So I must say, not bad. The two polycaps. I will not. Uh, like I said, show everything. I will just take some uh, to show. A detail work or so uh, on some large parts. I must say I had had a quick view on the spool, still in the bag, not open it. I don't saw any flash or something like that. So that's nice. So yeah. So that's pool B. So now you are saying no flash, no flash. I see flash. Yeah, I also see flash. But here okay, you have some flash. There you have some flash. But it's not on the parts. So that's nice. So what we have here? Uh, lower, uh, no, nope. wheelbase. So that are the hooks that I was telling about. Some base plates with some very nice. If you can see it, a checkerboard effect, uh, trans transmission, some uh, very nice handles, mm. some fine. Uh, 
they find work. Like you can see. So at the other side we will just uh, must be careful that we clean everything nicely because there are uh, I think those are the injector ejector pin marks or the insert no but I don't know but like you see on a lot of places but if I'm not mistaken it's only on places you don't see that's very nice uh, always be careful when you open a bag and there are some little stuff falling out uh, if you're sure like now I was sure it was not a piece because it's I wibble it around and it fell off but, it, but if you're not sure put it back in, in the bag and when your build is finished uh, you will see if you had a uh, needed yes or no uh, plastic parts not a big problem with piecing falling out something yes no but with resin there's there you have to be careful so here we have the main uh, the top deck the two uh, the front and the back panel and we have only here some yeah it's not raised so we b will need careful sanding uh, a bit of filling and sanding if needed it's also to see uh, what you want to do with it uh, I'm not sure what I will do, how I will do it. I must say I like very much uh, zoom out. Like it here. Open. Uh, or open like that or if the fitting is very nice not gluing the top part on it but that I can remove so you can see the interior or I will close it I will see I will not say A B C uh, I have three options, so I will see. But there is a very nice vivid detail on it, so that's all very nice. Uh, Like you see here, little seat, you know, 
don't throw it away but with a little seat I don't know with the light but if you can see already a very nice texture they place on the seats so a bit of light brushing a wash on it and that will be very nice so what do we have here radiator cover wheel the seat it's to the same yeah uh, suspension parts spring yeah and also a very nice detailed So here, be careful. That part, those, you can remove it. Those parts, don't remove it. But you see the difference, so that's not that should be not really a problem so yeah from that to that screw you have two so yeah and now we will look at that one There's already a little instruction here on, but it's so little. I can't read it. Oh, they explain a bit. Uh, filling part, uh, making tubes. Cutting the parts, rolling up, rolling down. So, yeah, the basics of it. And a little bag. Aye. Yeah. So A little piece of instruction sheet. Oh, 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 guys, sorry, 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 sorry. So, what do you have? The six uh, automatic rifle barrels. That was uh, water cooled. The gun. Um, we have uh, a brass rod. And that are six pieces that you have to cut off to make the end of like you see cutting off that piece gluing there. So the Instructions are 
well, uh, really nice. Uh, they show off where you, uh, you have to cut off the piece. It will hole in here at one mil hole, one point five mil hole. Uh, putting the barrel on. That's a fast and quick one. The rifles you have uh, a bit more of work, so you need to cut off the barrel, and then you need to cut off one, two, three, four, the five pieces. No. Yeah, five pieces. Of the aiming, uh, yeah, for aiming. <coughs> That's if I'm not mistaken. Uh, will be parts when normally the tubing is coming on for the water, and that may be normally a little bolt to unscrew it to remove the air that's uh, in that it all fills up with water so the metal part cutting off there gluing and that brass rod we have to make uh, six pieces of it of 5.8 millimeter and that piece you have to put inside here so you you can move it around so do i open it or not but what i will do Uh, so nice alum aluminum aluminum barrel. Also nice that the hole is really deep. You can't see the end. So you have the hole here where the bullets came out. They already drilled the hole to put the brass rod in. So, theoretically, that one that's a really oh, too tight fit. It's the same. Uh, I will see what I do. I can force it in, uh, or with a bit of sandpaper. And you turn around, and that will fit. 
So I need six pieces of 5.6. So 5.8, five uh, five uh, take 6 millimeters, uh, 5.6 is 36. Yeah, and they don't give a lot. Like you see, that's four centimeters, and you need three point six. So, uh, yeah. So you will to be careful, or you will need to buy a metal. What if I'm not mistaken? Where did I put that? Nope, 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 nope. Ah, yes. Yeah. Call it. I've got some fine brass tubing. Yeah, maybe. I have not uh, that much just like it is, so I have spare. So that was a brass rod, and then I will. I don't know if I will be able. Okay, that one went almost ballistic. I no bit bit. So yeah, guys. Okay, it's my thumb. Uh, well, that's the my pinky, and if I'm not mistaken, you have to. Let's go on the barrel and so guys I will I'm not sure but I have the impression it's all out a bit not much but a bit So guys, like you see, uh, if you want to buy that set separately, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, I, at my hobby shop, it was around just not uh, 15 euros so I don't know in pounds but I think in pounds that will be 
13 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. So, uh, as it for me, I uh, should not especially buy it. And I must say, the bidding on eBay at the first time. Uh, I even didn't uh, notice it was with it. Uh, later, when I was looking, I if I was going to win the bid, yes or no, that I found out. That it was in it. So, yo, so, yeah, I'm very happy with it. That tempers a bit the price. the uh, shipment costs uh, of 20 euros from Italy that's still something I don't understand here in Belgium uh, shipping in Belgium a normal size packet not too heavy at 7 euros no shipping that box Okay, she will take some march on it. Was 20 euros. Uh, and at the time I bought 100 of those blades, scalpel blades, for yeah, 10, 12 euros. I don't know. Shipping shipping free from Japan so yeah that's I don't understand but that's another question so guys that will be the copper belt uh, I'm not sure when we will start it uh, how the vids will go uh, that's something that Nigel and I have to work it out but yeah you will see it so guys stay tuned you like it you put the subscribe button the bell button uh, you want to see something more in detail you leave comments uh, if you want to join the body belt let her know something and we will see how we uh, we will do it. Uh, so guys, see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.